Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm also going to be omitting the decklist portion from the video, because people seem to really not mind, as well as I don't really want to show a decklist for this deck, even though it's something that's uh, that's kind of generic. I just uh, I didn't want to waste time in the video, because it does take up the couple of minutes at the beginning of the video. It makes the videos a bit more lengthy, and ultimately I feel like I could just say what I need to say uh, right now. Also, this is a list that I'm just trying to tweak around. I'm not really keeping it secret or anything. I just, I don't want to just show how terrible my list is um, straight out of the gate. But so this is, as you can probably tell, Zodiac Shadals. Um, it's a very, it's a very experimental uh, deck that somebody like decided that they wanted me to uh, play with. Basically, uh, people were suggesting it through my Facebook as well as through my email and stuff like that. So I figured I'd give it a shot, and I mean. While Construct is not illegal, this is an inherently like powerful deck in terms of what it allows you to do because of the fact that the Shell cards have such high utility. Now, Construct is a card that people seem to want back in the format, and it's a very powerful card, so I can understand why they want it back, uh, but ultimately, the card is so strong and the Shadal engine is so splashable that it ultimately would probably be more of a problem than it would be a uh, benefit to have in the game because then Shadals could just be splashing anything that has any sort of good light monsters and it would ultimately just be uh, be a problem but so I've got Lunalite Black Sheep in here to search for Poly so that you know your Zodiac play can search your Black Sheep can search Poly can search a fusion spell so that you can you know make some Shadal plays happen and from here I can make Bujinti Kagatsuchi and try to mill some Shadal cards uh, and see where that goes. And so I got Shadal Beast in Grave. So, I mean, I really would have rather had any other Shadal besides Beast. Hey, there's one. Alright. Well, so now what I can do is I can actually make Shekinaga uh, pretty easily, pretty effectively with, like, the Invoker. And then that'll allow me to uh, do some other some other things. I can make the Shekinaga. Did I mill? I milled two Zodiac Barrages. Eh. It's a bit unfortunate. But ultimately... I think I'll be able to handle it, but so we'll put the Drancia here, and I don't have any sort of play line that I can continue on with without making like a Shekinaga, but I also don't want to lose it to a board wipe as of right now, uh, so I could just set Strike and Pass, and then I can use this Poly as a very offensive card next turn, uh, because Strike essentially does do the same thing as Shekinaga. Hmm, decisions. Uh, but if I lose to a Kaiju, I would be a lot more upset about that. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Poly. And I'm going to use the Poly for... Or I could go for Winda. Winda is actually really strong. I can actually just go for Winda, make it to where it's irrelevant as far as board wipes go. And this just gives me a very strong position to have for the next turn as well. Because I have the Viper, and I can actually just send Hedgehog here... And uh, I could send Hedgehog and search for other cards, or I could send Falco, and Falco would be pretty good, but Falco would mean my, my board is too clogged for Falco. Um, so we'll just send Hedgehog, and Hedgehog will add a another copy of Squamata, because that's anything, but also next turn I could go Invoker um, into a 4 and then summon Squamata. Do I even have, like, rank 4? Yeah, I have Emeralds in this extra deck, because it is, it is possible to make them. Albeit very hard, I don't remember if... Uh, I don't think that there's Instant Fusion Norden in this deck anywhere, even though it could probably just be a thing. Yeah, see, Kaiju'd over that, so my Drancia is still existing, um, and so now I'm just going to have to use... Uh... Oh, really? Wow! Kaiju plus the board wipe. God damn! Oh my god! That sucks for me! That's absolutely terrifying! That's absolutely terrible! Thank god I still have the strike. No, I'll probably have like MST or Twin Twister for that too. Um, let's be honest here. <laughs> let, let us be honest. Um, so Terratop. And so Terratop here is going to be able to get him, like, into Invoker, which I'm going to allow to happen. I'm going to allow the, in I'm going to allow the Invoker to come down, and then I'm just going to strike it, uh, so that he doesn't have access to it anymore. Even though I doubt it's going to be relevant since the Takatomborg is here. Um, but so, it's still, it's still a potential, like, way to deal with this. Now, next turn, I'm going to be able to normal summon this Viper and overlay it into a Drancia. I could probably increase the number of Zodiacs that are in this extra deck by cutting the Utopia package, actually, uh, just so there's less emphasis on the Emerald. Possible. Um, this gets to put itself under any Beast Warrior. 
Um, so I could put it under the Kagetsushi if I wanted to. But no. So this uh, this Dragon is gone. And so I've got to deal with the back row and the Jizakiru. So, hmm. I mean, like I said, I could always normal summon this. I can normal summon this and go into Drancia. If I played another Lunalite and played another Poly and played another Broad Bull, you know what? There's just way too many what ifs in this scenario. Um, I could normal summon this and I can go into Drancia and pop this, but then the Drancia is literally just dead. Uh, but at this point, I've got Falco, so I feel like I could outgrind him um, as far as as far as this goes. So this is what we'll try. We'll we'll try this. We'll see if this gets like striked, uh, but it doesn't look like it is. So okay. We'll just we'll deal with this in the best way that I think I possibly can. What is this? My body as a shield. He's maining that card. Oh my god, wow. Alright. Um, well, this is a bit annoying. Because that means now that I don't have the Viper in hand. If he had attacked this, I could have Vipered under it. And then it would have been a uh, DD Warrior Lady. Or the Jizakiru. Man, that sucks for me. That is so terrible. I am a little bit nettled. I'm a little bit displeased. But at least next turn I can set Falco. Falco can get back Beast, which I could then flip and do things with. Oh, he's got access to this. That's right, but he's not going to use that on my Kagetsuchi. At least I don't think he would. Oh, yeah, he definitely will now. He's got access to the Zodiac Beast play. So, yeah, there's definitely no reason for him not to. Uh, he's got the Rat, which means he can just go Kaiju over this and then Drancia pop it. And he's actually got the OTK if he if he knows how to perform it. The Gaga Samurai OTK is literally right here in front of him so even if I'm at 8,000 but I'm at 62 so I mean like it's even easier to kill me but I just it just depends but yeah like the Shadal variant of this Zodiac deck is a cool concept that people have definitely been trying to talk me like talk up to me uh, multiple on multiple different occasions basically and that's why I'm here playing it for a video because I felt like okay well it might as well be something worth testing for something but ultimately I think as far as Zodiac variants go it is probably the weakest of the variants um, now there are definitely a lot of changes I could probably make to this deck like including instant fusion Norden I just couldn't find the space for it without going above 40 so that was uh, the problem there but uh, that is actually something that's probably mandatory to add because of the fact that your first turn play is trying to go into Kagetsuchi to mill cards to get Shadal pluses so I mean there is that so ultimately there's there's a lot of different things that could change about this. Um, why Castell? I'm curious. I mean, it's still game because that's 53, and then if he's able to search uh, Viper here, and then just Drancia, then he's you know got 1,200 there. So I mean, it's still game. Um, so I don't know why you're not just Kaiju Dranciaing my uh, my stuff. At least that's that's what I think. But um, I mean, it's whatever. It's still a game shot in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, like I said, I think this the should all build is probably the most lackluster variant and uh, I say that with you know a big soft spot in my heart for Shadal cards I love the Shadal deck uh, the Shadal deck is what definitely like like just kept me going for a good bit in Yu-Gi-Oh just because the card interactions are so in-depth and like how the cards operate are just really cool uh, so there is that but yeah I'm just getting my ass handed to me this game so I'll go first next game and I'll probably open, like, and that's the thing, is I opened what is arguably, like, one of my best openers. But he also opened, like, his best opening to go against, um, to go against my board. Being Kaiju, Board Wipe, and then Terror Top. And then also having access to the My Body as a Shield, which was in his opening hand. So ultimately, there were so many things that he had that he could have used that like just outed my board so I mean as far as as far as how this goes not quite sure how it's going to go but okay so I've got rat and I've got barrage um, I'm gonna use barrage on the Falco well no the Falco can actually just be fused with um, so there's really no reason to and I can actually normal summon this so I don't even need to use the barrage I can save the barrage for a uh, for a future play line but I'm not gonna use the rats effect and I'm going to just uh, just do my zodiac beast play again and we're gonna we're gonna see where it gets me, if anywhere, um, and whether or not he opens literally the probably the perfect three card counter um, in the form of Terra Top Kaiju Board White. Um, like that was ooh that was insane. That was the real. I'm like maybe I can just make Winda and just uh, validate his board wipe, and then he won't 
be able to, like, you know, do Zodiac Beast stuff. Nah, man, Kaiju plus the Kaiju Slumber. <laughs> Got me. Um, oh, they've updated Rat's name to Rat Pierre, but they still haven't updated the image file. In fact, I don't think they're going to. I think that's something I might have to do manually, which I've actually thought about doing uh, on quite a few occasions, was updating the image file manually on uh, on all of these cards. But uh, Black Sheep to add Polly. I'm doing this before I mill for some very obvious reasons because I don't want to mill either one of them because I mean like look I didn't have a fusion spell in this hand and now I do question mark K saws I don't know uh, but so we'll use Kagetsuchi here we'll mill the five I did not hit a single shit all card other than sinister shadow games <laughs> well <laughs> okie dokie then and so now the barrage is dead because the viper is now out of my deck man this deck list needs some work I, I'm sorry. I, I need to work on this. I don't know what I'm doing, uh, it seems. Uh, but So we'll do that. We'll activate this. Uh, fusing for a Winda, using Beast and Falco for Winda, and then we'll use the Falco to come back, and then we'll use the Beast to draw a card, and then ultimately it feels like it'll be a pretty a pretty okay position because Winda hard counters things, and Drancy also does the same thing. And that's a Shadal fusion that's also just really good. Um, so... Uh, there's there's potential here. There's definitely potential here. But uh, but yeah, this deck list needs a lot of work. This was one of the deck lists that was sent to me by someone in in, uh, in my email. And so uh, I don't really want to show it because I don't think it's the best. But I also didn't want to change it around because I thought maybe something was going good with it that uh, that I didn't like see or know about. But the intense, glaring lack of instant fusion is really kind of showing its face to me in, uh, in an ugly way that I don't really enjoy. Um, and also the Utopia package seems like it could just come out and uh, and not be something that's included. Because you could just play Instant Fusion Target in the form of Norden, and then you could also play um, you could also play a, uh, another card, like another one of the Zodiac Beast things, like another Tiger Mortar, for example. Um, that seems like it would be a little bit better suited than the Utopia package because there's not really a lot that you have to get over with Utopia anymore. It's actually an incredibly, um, an incredibly like, uh, like luxurious card to have in your extra deck now. There's definitely not as many Beatrice interactions as there were in the past. Um, but so this is activating the discard a card. He gets to draw a card, so he's discarding Viper, which is actually whoa. Um, so if he puts Tiger Mortar on top of this. Um, then what's going to happen is he's going to be able to detach this, re-equip Viper, and then try to attack into my Winda. Ah, oh, he's just going straight into Drancia. Hmm. I find that interesting. Um, I was expecting to, like, get, like, Dimensional Barrier him on the Tiger Mortar. Um, he can't destroy, this Winda can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Um, I'm just going to let that happen. Uh, I don't. I, I I get it. I don't think some. I don't think people have read El Shadal Winda in a really long time. But like this, that one's a bit inexcusable. <laughs> I'll give him that though. I don't think there are many people that have read this card in quite a long time. Uh, so I mean, I guess we can. I guess we could say that there is that. But ultimately, that's a bit of a stretch. Um, okay, so I've got Shadal Fusion now, which I could use to go straight into a Shekinaga. That was actually really cool. Um, and I could use a, uh, I could use cards in my deck, or I could use the Drancia on my field. Um, it's all up to me. Ha, 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 ha. Um, but so, yeah. I'm just gonna use Shadal Fusion here. Um, and just summon straight from deck. I'm not too worried about this Falco interaction. Um, there's, there's not really a lot that I'm gonna be doing with it. I can just attack over this and then attack, attack. Um, I'm going to keep the beast in my hand, I'm going to use uh, cards from my deck. Um, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use Dragon from deck, and I'm going to use a Max C from deck, just because I want to preserve that Drancia. And one of these dragons will, uh, will pop one of these, and that'll ultimately just be really good. Oh, Dimensional Barrier calling Xyz? I'm surprised you didn't do that on Fusion. Hmm. I'm really surprised. I think that this, uh, I think this entire game state is kind of just right, like, old fucked for you, mate. Um, like, I think that's, I think that's a problem. Um, because, like, you could've, Dimensional Barrier called Fusion, and I wouldn't have been able to summon this. 
Uh, and, like, I'm locked under my window now, so, like, I can't even summon any further, so I don't know why the Xyz was called. I don't know. I think this game state's a bit strange. But, whatever. I mean, I, he's probably just on tilt from having a window that he couldn't destroy. Um, even though he played around it perfectly game one, I don't quite understand. He kaijued over it and then used the board wipe, so he's aware of it. So actually, I don't think there's any excuse. I don't think there's any excuse for that, now that I think about it, because he played around it properly game one. And so, okay, so he's got a Terra Top that's going on here. And this Terra Top is going to add Taka Tomborg, but now he can't special summon it because of Winda. So, basically I have to I get to save this Drancia and I get to save this uh, Dimensional Barrier. Oh, you really? You think that this is going to be something that happens? Um, I'm going to use this Drancia here to pop the Terra Top. And if he has my body as a shield, then that's going to be the defining thing. But if he doesn't, I'll still have Dimensional Barrier, which I'm going to start holding down A. He has another Terra Top. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Alright. So he's got these. And so I'm going to wait for the Invoker. Um, yeah. I'm going to wait for the Invoker. Because I expect him to just attack over the Drancia. Um, honestly. So once he uses Invoker, I'm going to Dimensional Barrier calling it Seas. And then ultimately the, the game state is really, really far in my favor. Um, from here. So like... I mean, I'm dominating this game state with my Shadal Fusion cards, but, like, ultimately, I still think it's the weakest of the variants, because Shadals don't have any, like, really good things that you get to go into anymore. They don't... I don't think the Zodiac Beast engine is the right type of support that this deck should be looking to get. I think there's definitely a lot more... Damn! <laughs> Triple Terror Top! Whoa! Okay. Um, I think... I think that was also the wrong attack order. Um, you, if you'd attacked the Falco first, then I would have not been able to have, uh, gotten this beast back, because it would have been flipped up, no room would have been there, and there's that. So yeah, I think this game state's all sorts of fucked on his end. That's, that's not me being a criticizing bastard, that's me just stating things how they seem to have fallen. Uh, but so, this beast will activate, I'll draw two, discard one, and that's... Gamma Seal, it's Terra Top, I don't need really any of these. This is the deadest card here, because I'm out of Zodiac cards. Um, so, I mean, it seems pretty standard. At least I think so. Uh, but so I've got Max C, I've got all these things, I can just kill his board, and from here, oh, he's at such a low amount of life as well that I actually just get to kill him. Yeah, I didn't actually pay attention to the life total, even though I know I've punched him a couple times. But now he's locked under Winda as well, so like, Excuse the mouse thing, I'm actually, uh, I'm playing on a bed right now because I'm back at my, uh, at my family member's apartment that I'm watching over, or the, their house, rather. It's not, very much not an apartment. Uh, it is a house that I have all to myself. But, um, the room that I found that has the best acoustics for recording in happens to be the bedroom that I'm sleeping in, the yes bedroom. And so I'm playing on a bed right now with a magazine as my mouse pad, providing all the support. So, I ultimately don't have a lot of accessibility in terms of what I can do with my mouse. Now, I get to open with Shadal Fusion, going second against this deck. Starting with Foolish to, to you know, uh, Dragon Pop anything that might be there as well. So, there's a good bit of potential that this hand has. Oh my god. Now, if the Dragon Pop's a, uh, oh really? Totem Bird. Oh, okay. I see the plays. Alright. So I can Foolish Burial, right? I'm gonna have to Foolish Burial Dragon to pop any back row that's there. Hopefully the Totem Bird doesn't get, like, the instant negate. And then I can Normal Summon Viper. And I can use Viper to go into directly into Drancia. I'm not even gonna mess around with it. Um, and then uh, from there I will be able to, if, if that goes through, if I get to summon the Drancia, then I will be able to. Um, I'll be able to, uh, da, 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 da. what's my thought process? I'll be able to then Drancia pop his Totem Bird in response to anything he tries to do with his Drancia, and then I'll be able to shit all fusion for free from deck into probably Winda, and then Winda backed by Dimensional Barrier and Solemn Strike. And this will be a good Winda now because it'll also be backed up by adding shit all fusion back to hand if he Kaiju's over it. So, synergy. And then I'll have Dimensional Barrier and Strike set, so those will ultimately be really good cards, but this is all 
not taking into account what my sixth card could be, and my sixth card could be, like, broken and be, like, Terror Top or Barrage. Like, there's so many actually good cards I can draw here. So, uh, so there's that. But I think that the Shadal variant, going back to my previous point, um, is, I still think it's one of the weaker variants. That Drancy is in attack mode. That's a bit strange. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I think it's one of the weaker variants. Yeah. But, uh, why is he setting this card? And why is he setting that card? Well, that's, that's a back row. That's understandable. Um, that's a polymerization. That card is a blank. That card is nothing. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first Foolish Burial, and we're gonna try and send Dragon. And then, off sending Dragon, we're going to pop this back row. And then, only then, fellow duelists, Solemn Strike. Alright, really good for me. Alright, so I'm gonna normal summon this, and if he doesn't pop it straight away, then, yes, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Um, so we're gonna go into Drancia here. And then Drancia just immediately gets to pop the totem bird. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna Drancia, try to pop this. And I'm gonna use my Drancia, or excuse me, Drydent, to pop this totem bird. So this is just working out very, very much in my favor. Uh, now, I know he has a whip tail. That's actually something that I need to address, is that I know for a fact that he has a whip tail. Which means that I cannot attack that Drancia with Winda or Shekinaga. Now, Winda is the safest thing to make here, because Winda will allow me to send Skomata and Beast. And so I'm going to. One, I'm going to turn my auto chain order off because I get to actually structure this chain link. Um, so, Squamata and Beast's effect. So, what I'm going to do is Squamata is one and Beast is two so that I can see what I draw before I send with Squamata uh, because that's actually pretty important. So, a Hedgehog. All right. So, with the Squamata, I will send probably Falco uh, because then Falco can just come back and then I've got the Beast engraved that can come back off the Falco. Which can then get flipped up and uh, and give us the uh, the hedgehog search. So there's multiple things there, but priority number one, we're attacking over this emerald because I don't want. Did he not use the emeralds effect last turn? What the fuck is going on? I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm I, I, I'm at a loss for words. You know what? I'm just not gonna question it anymore. I'm just at a loss for words, and I can't deal with it. Cannot deal with it. So we're just gonna not deal with it. Uh, but I do have Strike and Barrier, so if I get Twin Twistered, then it sucks to suck. But other than that, um, it's gonna be good. But I do really like the concept of Shadal Trains. So yeah, see, the Viper was still in his hand. It definitely wasn't this card. Whoa. <laughs> definitely was not. Um, but so, let's see, this would become the Xyz monster's effect when it's under there. At least I think that's how that works. Uh, but then I would have to... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna let this happen. You know why? Because he's gonna attack me, and then I'm gonna flip Dimensional Barrier and it's gonna negate its effect. And even if he chains its effect... Whoop, I need to hold down A. Yes. Almost, almost felt like I lost that one. Um, but we'll call it Seize, because now that is, the Whiptail's effect is the Drancia's effect. And so, now the Drancia just doesn't have any material under it, so it's not going to be DD Warrior Lady anyway. So he's got to pop itself to prevent him from taking damage. Yeah. So, <laughs> that just worked out handily well for me. So, like, yeah, we're, we're going to take, we take those. We take those in my business. In my business, we take those. Now, why he didn't activate the Emerald... That one I'm a bit curious about, because I did not notice that until literally when I killed it, that both of those rats just went casually to the graveyard. And then he set a monster, which I have no idea what that monster is. I almost expect to attack over it and it'd be like a fossil dino. I don't deserve to win this game by any stretch of the imagination, but I mean, if I'm going to win it, I'll take it. Um, it's just not something that I deserve. It's, it's just a problem in the aspect of it's not something that I deserve. 
Uh, but so this Falco will use its effect to get Beast. And so now he's out of Zodiac stuff, so that's actually just another benefit, like huge benefit for me. Um, is that he's out of the Zodiac stuff. Uh, but so I can attack here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna attack over whatever this is with the window, and then I'm gonna attack with the Falco. Okay, so it was another Whiptail. I'm so confused. Why is that set? Why was that set? Mm, I don't know. I think he stopped paying attention. He probably still has food. He told me he had food. So he might still be having food. I do not know. But, uh, but interrupted Kaiju Slumber. That does that. The Falco and the Beast both activate. Um, so I mean, those, those, we take those too. Um, now he will just be able to attack over, uh, over the cards. Like the, like the window, but then I'll be able to flip my Falco and then normal summon Terra Top. So if he attacks over the window, then that's fine. I, I'm 100% fine with that. Um, I think he has to attack over the window, or else he just can't really deal with my stuff. Uh, but his rats are all gone, so I'm not sure what exactly he's planning on doing here. Uh, but I do have a Gamma Seal now. So he's got Tinky, which he could use for, say, Thoroughblade. Yeah! I'm good at this guessing game. Uh, normal Summon Thoroughblade, and then go into maybe Broad Bull Oh, he's got Instant Fusion! Alright, well, so Instant Fusion for Norden. And if he goes for Emerald, I'm going to strike that Emerald. That way there will be two Emeralds in the graveyard. And his entire string of play should just be, uh, be, uh, gone. Should be non-existent. So we'll see what happens here, because I don't expect him to be going into any Zodiac Beast Exceeds straight on like this, because there's no rats left in the deck, meaning that, I mean, he has to rely on Thoroughblade and this for the Emerald. So, that's, uh, that's that. Uh, but, I mean, it is still possible. So, I mean, there is that, but... I, the reason I'm okay with leaving this here is because, yeah, he can make one Dryden with that, but I'm going to be able to shit all fusion, so, like, I'm okay with that. Um, okay, so Tiger Mortar, and Tiger Mortar will be able to do some things, I guess, uh, like re-equip Viper, or Whiptail, excuse me, and then go into Dryden. I mean, I think this game is definitely salvageable. Why would... Attach Momorat, re-equip Momorat. I don't know what's going on. I feel like he's trolling me at this point. I feel like I'm being trolled. Um, but that is actually a really, really good card. And I don't even have to bother striking it. Because, sure, you can take the Kaiju. I'm okay with this. You can have this. This is main phase two. I'm okay with this. Because, at this point, you have two Xyz monsters out. Meaning that if you put Dryden on top of this, I don't have to worry about it. Because, I mean, if you had just one Dryden out, then you could respond by Dryden popping itself when I should all fusion. That you know I have, because I just added it back. Right? Um, there's, there's multiple things that could happen here, but so it's Viper. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, but that's a Drancia. And you know what? I actually feel like I'm going to strike this one. Just because I want to keep doing everything that I want to do. So yeah, I'll Drancia. I'll pop the Drancia with Strike, or negate it, rather. Um, that way, like, I feel like all of his resources are engraved. I feel like every single one of them is gone. Um, if they're not all gone, then I am so confused as to how they're not all gone. But so this allows me to bring back my Beast. And I can use Shadal Fusion for, like, Dragon and Squamata um, at some point. Uh, but I have the Mulmorat, which I can use to make my plays. I'm not going to be focused on doing anything remotely relating to, um, to the, uh, to the Bujinte, uh, Kagetsuchi play. Because I've already got tons of Shadals in access, uh, in circulation. Oh, lag. Not something I want to deal with right now. Uh, but so we'll just do Zodiac stuff, and this time we'll be able to end with an Emerald. Uh, because that will just be really strong for me going forward. And that would be, you know, a reset pool, a reset button for my resource pool, uh, as well as I can get my, uh, I can get my viper, my whip tail out of the deck. Trying to adjust these names is a uh, kind of a ball ache, especially when the pictures are still the old pictures. Uh, at least that's what I'm finding. Uh, oh, so I can get Lunalite Black Sheep. My viper is already engraved. That's right. I drew it and I used it to make that amazing turn one play. Um, so that's a bit of an ish, 
but, uh, so I could have made Emerald first if I had remembered that, but it's whatever, it's fine. Because now I can Emerald now, and I can shuffle back Born Boing and Boing. The Tiger Mortar is just something I, I need to put back first. Um, so there's Dragon, and now I can just activate this, and I can uh, Fuse for Shekinaga. And I can do that by using... I haven't used Beast's effect this turn, so I'll send Beast from deck, and I will send a Max C from deck, because I don't think it's necessary at this point. And the Shekinaga comes out, uh, and the Shek is going to be the negator of his, uh, of his other uh, play lines in the form of, um, like, Imbol or whatever. Why do I keep drawing these rats? That's, that's a bit of an issue that I'm not too happy about. But so I can use Drancia on that. I can actually activate Polly here and go ahead and summon um, a Winda uh, using the cards that I have access to right now um, by fusing away with the Falco and uh, and like the Hedgehog. So that's actually something that I'm actually going to do because it's more damage one and two. It uh, it does some cool stuff. So we'll do that. I'm not going to use this Beast because that would be silly. Uh, but I am going to get rid of this Black Sheep. There's no need for me to have that, so I'm going to get rid of it. And so now I just attack over the Castell, and I just sub... I, uh, I secure my position in this game, because I know that he has Interrupted Kaiju Slumber that he can use in Grave, and I know that he has Viper in hand, but as far as what he can do with that one Whip Tail with four cards left in his extra deck, I'm very curious as to what that could be, as well as the fact that I don't see him being able to play out of either Winda or Shekinaga, uh, depending on uh, what he summons, because the Shek can just negate whenever he, like, special summons, so, like, literally, like, right here, uh, but I'm not going to do it here, like, uh, that's, that's, that's silly, um, because, like, so now he has to Kaiju over my Winda, because he's locked under it, so he has to Kaiju over the Winda, but then the Shek just negates whatever exceeds he summons. So it seems pretty, it seems pretty easy, um, at least I believe so. But so he's attacking the Drancia, which is fine, and he's gonna attack into the Beast, which is not something I would advocate, but okay. Um, so we'll do this, and then I'll discard this Dragon. I know he has a Kaiju in his hand, so I'm not worried about there being a settable, um, so I'll just get rid of the Tenki. Uh, just take those, take those free fake pluses. Um, yeah. So I think, I think there's no way I lose this game, uh, in any way, shape, or form. Because like I said, he has to Kaiju over the window, and then make an Xyz, which I can then just negate with Shekinaga. So, like, there's, there's no way that I see myself losing this game in any way. Um, and especially since he's at a thousand. So, like, it's, it's what I would consider, um, like, over at this point. So, we'll just shuffle back some stuff that I'm pretty sure doesn't actually matter. Um, just because we can, and then this this was a weird one. This was a weird game. I don't know if I'm a fan uh, because this one this one this was ripe with some some questionable plays. But whatever. I mean, it's it's whatever, right? I mean, I play these things to like get information, so information is still being gotten. At least I don't want to sound like I'm literally shit talking my own friend that I talk to on Discord, basically, but. Literally, like, I think some of those plays were a bit weird. Especially when you showed knowledge of knowing what Winda did before the turn started on that game when you just tried to pop it. That's just me. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about Zodiac Shadals and whether or not you care if the deck list is gone or not. But like I said, um, this is something that I don't really feel like putting a deck list out because it just looks weird. Um... And ultimately, like, if you guys have any suggestions and, like, deck lists of your own for this that you like to send in, you can send them to my email address, which is in the description of all the videos that I've put up recently. But other than that, if you want to support me directly, you can definitely check out the links on screen as well as in the description to my Patreon page. If you want to get in on a monthly giveaway, maybe get in on my Discord server to where you can play me for these videos, because that is where this person just came from. Um, all that sort of nonsense, you can definitely go check out my Patreon page. And even if you wanted to just support me directly with something as little as a dollar a month, it would just help me a lot and helps show your support to like my ability to make content into the future and it would help improve improve my equipment situation and all that sort of stuff in order to uh, branch out on uh, content that is produced but that is all for that other than that 
Like, comment, subscribe, as I've already said. Thanks for watching as usual. Thank you for your time. And as always, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video.